Hey there guys, what's going on? My name is Chris and my channel is Palmer Aquatics. And I also own the largest goldfish Facebook group on Facebook, Goldfish Keepers. So please consider subscribing. Today, I wanna deep dive into goldfish tank size. This is somewhat of a controversial topic and I think it's worth talking about. And I wanna just give like the bitter truth of what actually is necessary to be housing aquarium goldfish. So first of all, I want to depict uh, goldfish. There's two different types of goldfish for the most part. There's single tail goldfish and there's fancy tail goldfish. And a lot of times fancy goldfish, like you see here, they have double tails. And this is a koi fish here. Uh, they are very similar to goldfish. And uh, single tail goldfish, the reason I want to talk about the two different types is because this is a big factor when it comes to aquarium size. The single tail goldfish, which you see here, they grow a lot larger then the double or the fantail goldfish sometimes they're commonly called uh fantail double tail um fancies you know uh, and and as you can tell the fantails are a lot shorter and and chubbier they're more of like a stubbier goldfish and those they're a lot easier to keep in a smaller aquarium so and again, when you when you go into a lot of these platforms and you ask for help and you say, hey, what's the adequate aquarium size? You know, the the trolls are going to attack you. You know, there's going to be a lot of people that are saying, you know, I've heard everything, you know, as far as like one inch per gallon when it comes to like what aquarium size you need for your goldfish. I've heard that each individual goldfish needs 55 gallons in itself. But it really kind of, that's not how we need to think about this. What you need to think about is what type of goldfish do you have, first of all? And is it a single tail or is it a fan tail, double tail? You know, because you can keep the shorter ones, the chunkier ones, more of them inside the gold, inside the aquarium, if that makes any sense. Because the single tails, what happens is they grow a lot larger, you know, like a Shabunkin goldfish can grow a foot long or a Comet goldfish could grow a foot long. So that means you're going to need a larger aquarium, right? It's just, it's just honest math there. So, and what I want to say is the general rule of thumb is I, you know, there's, there's, I, I hate to even preach this, but you know, I would say the bare minimum for, you know, there's sort of two routes to go with this. You can plan large, for the future or you can plan small for now and plan on upgrading that's what a lot of people do it's somewhat it's it's somewhat not a good idea honestly though because we see so many people they buy a goldfish and then they put it in a 20 gallon aquarium they're like but i'm gonna upgrade so just don't don't blast me now i'm gonna upgrade right which i i entirely understand it, it happens but what happens is the goldfish in the long term kind of just sits inside the tank and nothing really happens and if if I were to tell you to just get a large aquarium up up front, it's a, it's going to be a better option, I promise you. And um, so 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 to answer the question, what size aquarium do you need for your goldfish? I would say for a single tail goldfish to start, I would say a uh, thirty gallon aquarium at bare minimum. I want to say a forty gallon, but. Here's the thing, guys. They grow fast. If you're taking proper care of them, they could be a foot long in a year and a half, two years, you know, like it, you have to plan on the upgrades and, and it's not necessarily like, uh, you know, because the fish just needs adequate amounts of space to swim around in the aquarium. It's not more or less like this is like this huge rule that we need to live and die by. It's more or less that the fish, it's just humane enough for the, for the fish to have some room to swim around in. And the idea here is th the thing that we need to worry about is the water parameters because goldfish are extremely messy creatures. And what you need to be actually learning about is the aquarium cycling process and how you're going to master doing water changes because what happens is the fish gives off waste into the aquarium and we need to do water changes as humans that's where we need to come into play also what size filtration do you have you know like maybe you have this crazy filtration system that is just massive and that mixed with water changes you could have a smaller aquarium right? Or maybe you have like an aquaponics plant set up. Maybe you have a ton of house plants in your goldfish tank, you know, like I can't really speak on behalf of like what setup you have. So I can't, you know, it kind of boils down to the water parameters. Are you able to keep the goldfish in a healthy situation in the aquarium? Then sure, it might work. So general 
rule of thumb, I would say, you know, it's really common to keep goldfish in 55 gallon aquariums. Uh, some people keep them in 40 gallon breeders, especially like the, um, the fancy goldfish, the fantails. They, you know, they do a lot of people keep them in 40 gallon breeders, but you got to be super diligent on the water parameters because what happens is the nitrates gets away from you and it just happens once and then your fish gets sick and then the tank just starts to like snowball to issues. So you have to just kind of just be extremely careful. Well, wow, I've showed this clip like 50 times. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, and as far as single tail goldfish, this is a, a realm in itself. I advise people to keep these in like six foot aquariums, 125 gallons in ponds because the comets, the shabunkins, uh, any single tail goldfish, they get super long. They're super similar to carp and they just, they need to be kept in larger aquariums. There's no, and if or buts, you can argue me in the comments, but hopefully that gives you a general rule of thumb. Uh, Hopefully you're keeping fancies. I feel like they're more cute and you're going to have more fun with it. And as far as adding other fish, you know, the larger the aquarium, the more fish you can tend to add. You know, like it's pretty common to keep three or four goldfish in a 55 gallon aquarium, especially fantail fancies, you know. So hit me up in the comment section. I kind of threw together this video just to kind of like use this as a resource guide for the Facebook group, Goldfish Keepers. And please consider joining the group. We are the largest Facebook group. Facebook group. I think we have like 50 over, maybe it's 60,000 members. I can't remember. But uh, hit me up in the comments if you guys have questions and make sure to subscribe. 